In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how we can manipulate data within, or actually manipulate text within Excel and use it for different purposes. We're also going to discuss some formatting changes, and we're going to be doing it all on the same personnel uh, file that we've been looking at in some of the other lessons. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change this angled text up to rotate text up just to make it a little bit easier to read and also to uh, add new columns so you see that's been changed and now that's all vertical and aligned and we're gonna come up and click the A column and then right click when you right click you'll see a, no a number of different options come up all of which will affect that column uh, the, what you, we want to do now is we want to add a new column there on the left hand side. So we're just going to click insert and that column has been added. Uh, whenever you're in Excel and you click and highlight a column and you click insert, it's always going to add it to the left. So, so make sure that you uh, are careful about which one you choose. The one we're going to be choosing or adding today is going to say full name because we have the last name and the first name, but for the personnel database, we want to have one column that actually puts both of them together. So change this to full name. And remember to make some of the formatting changes. We'll highlight that. We're going to come back here, rotate text up, going to center it, make it bold, blue, and white. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the other ones. We're also going to come down here, change the borders. So now you have each of the borders and now this new column looks identical to each of the other ones. So to create the full name, we could go type in Jimmy Buffett, then George Bush and go on down the line which is fine when you're working with uh, just a little bit of text, but if you're talking about having a personnel database of a thousand different employees, then that becomes much more cumbersome and time consuming. And one of the entire points of using Excel is that it's supposed to save you time and make uh, life more efficient. So one of the things we're gonna do is uh, use a formula to put those together. And the formula we're going to use is actually called the concatenate formula. And if you remember math class back from uh, high school, it probably sounds a little bit familiar. So to enter the formula, just like all formulas in Excel, we're going to hit the equal sign and then start typing in the formula. You can see that Excel narrows it down for us, and you can actually see concatenate there. And we'll, so we'll type that in. hit the brackets and now to do it all we have to do is put in the two variables we want included in the order we want them so the first one we want is Jimmy right there which is gonna be C6 then a comma now we're gonna want Buffett which is B6 in the brackets and you can see it's put both of them together you may also have noticed that it put them together without a space, which really does us no good. So you want to select that again, and there's a way that Excel makes it so that you can put a space in between concatenated text strings. It's very easy to do. All you do is you go after the comma right there. You put in quotation marks, a space, more quotation marks, another comma, and as you can see, it automatically adds that space. Now to get this formula added all the way down, all you have to do is uh, hover the mouse right over in the bottom right hand corner, select that, drag it all the way down, and as you can see, it's taken each, it's taken that formula and applied it to each one of these items.